what is your take on what you're seeing happening right now in Arlington Heights, where this this tax issue has made the Bears want to reconsider things a little bit, or at least open up to other bidders all of a sudden? You know, what's happening is, unfortunately, what happens in Cook County and Illinois with our political system and our wonderful politicians far too frequently. Uh, what you had was you, you have a bunch of parties that are trying to make their bones on the backs of the bears politically. They're trying to say, well, if the bears want this, we're going to charge them through the nose for that. And, and uh, we're going to take the property taxes and, you know, this thing that we could, that was paying, that, that Churchill Downs was paying a couple of million dollars a year for, and we're going to say they have to pay double digit millions. And that's just to start. That's before they put two or three billion dollar stadium into the ground and before uh, they put any of the uh, other uh, ancillary development uh, in the ground, which they won't ever be able to move. And they're setting it up so that the advantages that Arlington Heights has had, they are, they are quickly dissipating. They're taking something that was a gift to the northern suburbs and to Cook County, and they are making and, and they are by their own actions, and again, this is just politics in Cook County and, and, and the toxic environment we have here, very selfish environment, they are taking that and they are, they're really, I won't say destroying it, but they are reducing it dramatically to the point where all those great advantages that Arlington Heights has had, uh, they, they're, they've reduced to the point where the Bears are gonna talk to other communities like Naperville, which is in a different uh, county jurisdiction. Um, they. You know, I, I just heard from somebody at the league that they're going to have a sit down meeting with the mayor as well. The new mayor, Mayor Johnson, if there's possibly another site in the city of Chicago that he may want to propose. Uh, so and not Soldier Field. That's that that's that's you know gone. That's been gone for a long time. So it's it, it, it they shouldn't be doing this. It's like they can't help themselves around here politically. Let me follow and up on that that's what's going on. real quick, Mark. So. Somebody from the league office informed you that the mayor of Chicago wants to have a sit down with the Bears or is planning one to talk about a different site other than Soldier Field in light of this recent development? They're, they're having a, a meeting. I, 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 it's my interpretation what the meeting is about, but that they will be meeting, yes. Uh, that's, that, that's something that probably wasn't expected given the way this project began. Maybe it's a, as a result of what's going on. And here's the follow-up to that. How many sports teams pay property taxes like this, and how common is it that they would get in the way of a building project of this magnitude? David, that, that, that's a great question. Very few NFL teams, very few major league sports teams pay any property taxes for their stadium. Very few pay anything um, and the ones that do pay, it's, it's a fixed, it's typically a fixed amount. It's a lowered amount, not an inflated amount. So uh, the idea that, that uh, the bears would be paying double digit millions to start before they've even dug a hole in the ground in property taxes uh, for this site. And then who knows what it'll be after they've, they've invested billions of dollars into it. That's an absolutely untenable situation. No other team in the NFL has, has that kind of situation. And, you know, you'd think that, you know, the county assessor's office might have actually done a little bit of research on this. Uh, but then again, maybe it doesn't matter to them because they're just trying to get headlines, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and I guess the Bears will continue with the demolition, right? They will keep preparing the site while they talk to other people. Is that, is that accurate? Yes. And, and let me add to that, that that site is going to be developed. Right. It's a fantastic site. Whether the stadium goes there or not, we'll see. But it's not like the Bears have, you know, thrown $200 million away in buying the site. That site, especially when, when, think, when all the environmental testing is done and it's cleared of the racetrack activities, that site could be used as a, as a, 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 a commercial uh, development. But it really should be used for the stadium. And it, it, if the politicians would just do a little bit of research, it won't take them much. All they have to do is call Mr. Google who will, and ask them how, how much do NFL teams pay in property taxes uh, for their stadiums. I think they will be surprised perhaps at the answer. 
and maybe they can just be a little bit consistent with what's going on everywhere else in the country. So, Mark, you know how this works. It's a big picture development in a major project. And Kevin Warren was hired and he received a lot of praise on this program and throughout the city. So I wonder, as this story takes this turn, does it make people question Kevin Warren's leadership or reinforce why he's here? It's it's the latter. Reinforce why he's here. Kevin is, um, I've known Kevin for quite a few years. He's been heavily involved in the NFL for a very long time, for decades. And he is, uh, first, he, his, he has integrity that oozes out of every pore in his body, which maybe makes him a little bit unusual here in Chicago when dealing with politicians. But he's got great integrity, he's got great intelligence, and he's got the most amazing determination and persistence you will find. This is a man of great faith, and he believes in what he says, and he does what's right because it's the right thing to do. So if people, uh, you know, if our, our political leadership views him as just, you know, the, the, the newest, uh, the newest, prettiest, uh, uh, you know, person to, to come in their doors and ask for stuff and that he's just the same as everybody else, they, they don't, they, they, again, they need to do a little bit of research because Kevin Warren is both uh, ex- exceptional at what he does and has tremendous integrity. So they should, they should look at him and talk to him in that manner, and they will be able to cut a deal. There's a deal here to be cut, guys. It's, it, it's, it really is ready to be done. This really awesome transaction is ready. Just You can't have everybody feeding at the trough like they're hogs getting ready for slaughter. And, and in that light, does this offer an opportunity to Brandon Johnson – to come up with an alternative site, to come up with some kind of plan, or is this more of a leverage play to let Arlington Heights know how serious they are? Our great, um, I guess now former Chicagoan Barack Obama said uh, something very important. He said elections have consequences. We just had an election here for mayor of Chicago. And the consequence is we now have Mayor Johnson. This is an opportunity for him. Arlington Heights and, and the, 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 the political leadership from the area that has been you know, talking one way uh, publicly and maybe doing something different, saying something different privately, uh, they, they've opened the door for Mayor Johnson to do something that uh, the former mayor had no shot at doing, didn't have the skills to do, frankly, it, it, it appears, uh, if he wants to take advantage of that opportunity. So yeah, I guess I gave you guys some news here this morning, didn't I? Yes, you did. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Mark, yeah. for that. Not, not to get too deep into the weeds, but when you talk about how few NFL teams actually pay property taxes, I wonder if this is th- this project specifically is being treated differently or viewed differently because of the Bears' quest or desire to make it an entertainment district. That will include hotels, maybe condos, restaurants, and a casino, perhaps, beyond the stadium structure itself. Could that be part of what's driving this as well? No, because those things aren't built yet, David. Uh, when they're, if and when they're built, perhaps, but the, the, the assessor is saying he wants to value the land, which is unusable now because the racetrack is closed, right. and, he wants to, and he wants to charge five times the amount as when the racetrack was open. That's, uh, so it, it's, I, I'd, I'd love to tell you that's the reason, but uh, it's not. You know, here's the fear, Mark, is that, okay, you've got this issue in Arlington Heights and you're trying to work your way through it. Let's say they come to some compromise on that, some kind of cost certainty, whatever it is, whatever the Bears um, are hoping for. What's to prevent the next thing from coming up? You know, what, what, there are so many sort of moving parts to this. Um, How do you, how do you get the kind of, deal that you want that you feel is correct if you've already run afoul of a problem before you even got it going you know it, it, you you ask a question that has got to be something that that the mccaskey family and kevin um ask themselves every day now living and having a major business in chicago and cook county you know you're subject to things like uh, among the highest ticket taxes in the country because you have three jurisdictions taking taxes on tickets. You have the state, you have the city, you have uh, well, and, and the county 
uh, I think we're at 11 point something percent uh, in, in the city of Chicago on ticket taxes. One thing you can do is you're no longer going to be in the city of Chicago if you move to a suburban location uh, and you can try and work out uh, some kind of tax certainty. There are also other taxes that people don't even think about that we do in sports. Uh, taxes related to things like like uh, like beer sales and things like that, where there are special taxes, and they can be uh, jacked up and have been in Cook County and in Chicago uh, on when when they need additional money. It's part of being in this in this region. You want to be here. Some of these risks you, you accept. But property taxes, which is generally one of the largest taxes uh, that that could be paid, you try and fix. You try and have a, uh, a you know, payment in lieu of taxes, pilot payments, it's called in some parts of the country. You try and have a uh, a capped amount or at least a capped increase from one year to the other as part of a, a, a master development agreement. So there are things that can be done legally. There are also other things that can be done with the money from, from the taxes. Uh, you know, we have with TIFs, uh, tax and right. financing districts, where money can be directed, and that's where funds can go that the project generates uh, into infrastructure and roads and sewers and things of that nature. So there are ways to do it so that you can mitigate the risks, but you can never get rid of the risks. Quickly, Mark, before we go, you said it's an opportunity for Mayor Brandon Johnson. Knowing the city as you do, is there a patch of land? Is there an area that you think is more feasible than others for the Bears to consider if, in fact, the city comes to them with this opportunity? There are. Uh, and and if the mayor wants to identify them, all he's got to do is look at a, an aerial and see where there might be um, the you know, 20, 30 potential acres together. And they're, they're, hey, look at the old... Um, uh, Chicago Olympics plan, and you'll see that there are right. places where, where this can be done. Uh, but it's not just a having open land, David. You've got to also have the political will to want to do something like this. Uh, and if if the mayor wants to, if this is something he wants to make a priority, the, he, he he's now being given an opportunity to. Uh, and, you know, it's, 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 it's the people in the area around Arlington Heights, the political leadership that have opened the store. Whether he wants to walk through it or not, with all the other priorities that he's got, we'll find out. But he's going to be given the opportunity. Let's see what happens.